Hello everybody, my name is Cryptic and welcome back to another video. Now we all know that feeling when we see a hero pick up, we're heading towards it, we think we're gonna get it, and then... Someone takes it away from us. Now what this video is gonna do is hopefully give you guys some tips which will allow you to avoid these situations. Now the first tip I can give you guys is one that not many people think of. So at the beginning of the game, when you see the cinematic of the map, you can actually look out for hero pickups. So for example, on this cinematic, you can see the sand crawler, and usually there's actually hero pickups underneath that or slightly to the side. So what you need to do is keep your eye out, and if you can see it, then you know where you're heading when you spawn it. So the second tip I can give you guys is to make sure you use your jetpack at the right time. Now what I mean by this, when you guys spawn in, if you've seen the hero pick up in the cinematic as I mentioned earlier, then don't panic, just run forward, make sure you get a bit of distance and a clear area in which you can jetpack, because a lot of people just spawn in and jetpack straight away, they don't get the maximum distance they can out of the power up. So that's why I'd say to you guys, make sure you have a clear uh, area in which you can jetpack forward, make sure you jump and boost as far as possible towards that hero pick up. Now a few of you guys might be thinking, well what happens if I spawn into a game sort of halfway through, how am I going to get the hero pick up then? Now the tip I can give you is look to the right and see whether someone has been defeated recently as Luke Skywalker or another hero or if someone's become Luke Skywalker or another hero recently, there's a small tab that pops up on your right so you need to keep an eye out for that. Now once you see someone's become Luke Skywalker etc, you can play you know, pretty normally, you don't need to go scouting for the hero pick up, but once you see that defeated tab come up then you should be looking out for the hero pickup as much as possible. So basically it gives you some indication when the hero pickup will be in the field. Okay, so the next tip I can give you is where to look for hero pickups. Now, a lot of people will think that hero pickups are gonna spawn in random locations miles away from everybody else, but the truth of the matter is it actually spawns around the objective. So depending on the game mode you're playing, you need to look around for the sort of hero pickup near the objective. So for example, in Walker Assault, the uplink station that's currently needs to be activated or deactivated um, that's where the hero pickup is going to be. You also need to keep an eye out for when the uplink station or the objective is changing. So that actually pops up in the middle of the screen when the uplink station is changing. Then you need to head over to where the next uplink is going to be and look around for that hero pickup. Now that point in time is very crucial when you're moving to another objective because some of the other people are engaged with the battle. You need to quickly run away to the next objective so you have a little bit of time to look around for the hero pickup before anyone else starts spawning and gets there. Okay guys, so the next tip I'm going to give you is very important. Now your jetpack, if you are using it in your loadout, is probably one of the most advantageous things you can use to get hold of a hero pickup. Now what I mean by this is you can use it to either get in front of teammates uh, to get the hero pickup first, or you can utilize it to get out of sticky situations where you may be taking heavy fire uh, from enemies which will be stopping you from activating your hero pickup. So make sure you use it sparingly at the right time and don't just use it to boost straight back into the battle once you've spawned. So the next tip for you guys is make sure your itinerary is empty or you're ready to swap out for a hero pickup. So let me explain this. Basically, if you're running towards a hero pickup, you run straight through it, you think, why haven't I got it? Then you look into the bottom right hand corner and you see that you've already got an infantry turret, a thermal imploder, a cannon blaster, something like that. It can be pretty depressing. So a way in which you can avoid this is to either use the pickups you get straight away if you're searching for a hero or be ready to swap it out for the hero pickup. Now this is being demonstrated on screen, you can do this by pressing X, uh, which will swap the pickup you have for the hero. It's a very sketchy uh, sort of way in which you can go about getting it, but it is another way to ma make sure you pick it up pretty much all of the time instead of running through it and not being able to get the hero. Okay guys, so the final tip I can give you is don't base your entire game around getting a hero pickup. Try and help your teammates out, you know, because a lot of people are going to be trying to play the objective and you should aim to do that as well. I hope you guys can apply these, you know, tips I've given you in order to help you get hero pickups more, which will allow you to practice with them and get better and more crazy kill streaks and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, don't just base your entire game around it because you'll keep being out of position, you'll keep dying, you'll keep you spawning far away, which will lower the probability you're going to be able to pick up a hero. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. Hopefully these tips will help you out and allow you to get the hero pickups a lot more frequently on Star Wars Battlefront. If you think this video has been helpful, give it a thumbs up because that really helps me out. And also share it around with your friends and they'll be able to, you know, get the hero pick up slightly more frequently themselves. Just a quick side note, for some of you guys that don't know, I actually have an Instagram account, which I'll link in the description below. Now, of late, it's been very focused around Battlefront. I post two videos a day of some crazy gameplay. I will be doing Call of Duty videos on that as well. So if any of you guys are interested, go check that out. That'd be very much appreciated. So that's it for me today. Hope you have enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.